Hello guys, uh, today in this video tutorial I will be introducing a new sensor that is ADC081C. Now to gain more knowledge about this sensor, let's visit the website that is controleverything.com and here we have to search on for this sensor as you can see on my screen and here we go as you can see it's a 8-bit one channel high speed ADC analog to digital converter and as you can see these are some of its more prominent features as also you can purchase this sensor from this website from here furthermore I will be interfacing the sensor ADC081C with a beagle bone black and the platform I will be using is a C language code so for that let's go to the source tab and here comes the C code sample you can download the C code sample as a zip file from here and you can also have the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community now let's have a look over the, some hardware connections we need to make up and let's see what we got there well for the hardware connection setup the first thing we require is the bigger bone black which you are able to see on my screen and this here is an i2c shield for the bigger bone black now this is available on the website controleverything.com and the real reason we are using this shield is to make connections easier with other i2c devices so for that what do we require is to gently place this i2c shield over the bigger bone black and make a connection just like that for the power up setup we require two things the first is a mini usb cable just like this and gently insert it over here it is very useful to power up the bigger bone black now to power up the i2c shield we require a 5 volt adapter which you are able to see on my screen and gently insert it in here now for an option for the internet connection there are two mediums the first is an ethernet cable or a LAN cable and the second is this a wireless nano usb adapter now next we require our sensor that is ADC081C and this here is our connecting cable now to make a connection among the sensor and the cable we make sure that the ground terminal of the sensor should be connected to the brown wire of the cable and similarly this rule has to be applied to the I2C shield so as we are done with the connections part now our requirement is of the explanation of the code so let's have it well for the interfacing section first of all we have to log in to github.com and here we have to search for the repository that is control everything community after clicking on this we have to search for the sensor that is ADC081C and here we have to search for the code that is C code and let's have a look over the instructions we need to follow up in the C code first of all we need to set up the beagle bone black and the instructions are provided on the link that is beaglebone.org and after that we have to download or get pull the code on the beagle bone black and to compile the C code this is the command and to run this is the command please note them down carefully and get back to the C code as you can see on my screen it's a dot C file it's the extension and in the code please note down carefully we have included some of the header files which you have to note down and in the void mate function we can see we have to first of all we have to create i2c bus and here we have to check whether the bus is present or not and after getting that we are going to check the i2c device and we have to check the address of the sensor that is 0x50 then in the writing section part we are going to select the configuration register that is x 2 and we are going to send or write the command that is for automatic conversion mode enabled that is 0x20 and here comes the writing section part which is here the writing commands are here after that we have a sleep of one second as you can see and then we are going to read two bytes of data which you are able to see and the register from where we are going to read this data is 0x00 it's raw ADC MSB and LSB and then we have the conversion of the data takes place here which you can see on my screen it's according to the guidelines and the information provided on the data sheet for ADC 081C at the very end of our output uh, code we can see the output to be displayed onto the screen which is the raw value of the source so this is how the code is it's a very simple and generalized code for the C language now let's see how it works now let's have a look over the working part and for that uh, the first step is to copy this entire code of C language for this sensor and let's open up the terminal for the bigger black we have just connected and here 
we have to maintain a file dot c as you can see extension for the c language code and here we have to paste it and after that we have to save it uh, that's the step and now we have this command as you can see on my screen 081.c and for the full uh, compilation step this is uh, the whole process we have to follow it and this is the command now let's have a look over that and it's compiled successfully now to build the code we have this command as you can see on my screen and let's build up and run the command and we have the raw value of the source which is zero when i run again the command to build it uh, we have the value again which is zero which means there is nothing connected among the terminals of this particular sensor but instead when i try to connect it with a battery double a battery of 1.5 volt source and let's have it the build command and we have the raw value of the source which is 43 when i run again we have the same value the same magnitude uh, almost there is a slight change but it's not that significant which means the value is almost constant we have the battery connected to it right now so this is how the sensor responds this is how it works now let's have a look over how what are applications exactly and what are the benefits we have and features the adc 081c is a low power monolithic 8-bit analog to digital converter that operates from a plus 2.7 to 5.5 volt supply the converter is based on a successive approximation resistor architecture with an internal track and hold circuit that can handle input frequencies up to 11 megahertz due to these variables and a lot of features a lot of applications are dependent on this sensor which includes system monitoring peak detection portable instruments medical instruments and test equipment well you can have this sensor and you can purchase it from controleverything.com and you can get the code from resource tab from this site you can download the code as a zip file also you can get the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community in the end i would like to make it clear that if you have any doubt regarding any part of this sensor or video you can have your queries on controleverything.com and you can post your comments on the community page on this website for articles and blogs, you can have a look over on instructables.com and to subscribe more video tutorials like this, you can have a look over our YouTube channel. In the end, I hope you enjoyed this video and had a good one yourself. Thanks a lot for watching.